Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm going to be talking about string gauges. Why are there so many string gauges? Stay tuned. All right, guys. Uh, first off, I want to say thank you to Jordan Z. Jordan, thanks for the Oakley hat. This actually fits really well. Um, so some of you have actually asked me, um, why are you always wearing that bad Under Armour hat? Uh, well, first of all, I got 20 of those and they go through the wash. Um, the reason I like that hat the most is because it's light. It's kind of not too shallow, not too deep. So it kind of fits kind of barely over my ears without pushing down on my ears or it doesn't sit too high, you know, like, I got a fat head, you know, so a hat like this actually fits pretty perfectly. So thanks, Jordan, for thinking of me. If you guys ever want to send me anything, check out my about page and the address is right there. OK, uh, thank you in advance. So string gauges. Why are there so many string gauges? Uh, what do they do? Um, but first off, I want to. Uh, you know, a lot of people ask me and a lot of people say, oh, I want a 20 gauge. I mean, we ain't talking about a shotgun here. Okay. So 20 gauge is ultra, ultra thin. That's almost like badminton string. So 20 gauge is made, but it's ultra thin guys. Like people say, I want the thickest made. I want 20 gauge. That's ultra thin guys. So it's the opposite. The lower the number, the thicker the strings. So again, the lower the number, the thicker the strings. So it's like wires, right? If you're anybody's an electrician out there, okay, they go by the same gauging system. The lower the number, right? The thicker it is, the thicker the wire is, okay? Repeat after me. The lower the number, the thicker it is. Thank you. Well, see, my kid just freaking just said it. Lower the number, the thicker it is. Okay, there you go. Now, what happens if you have a super thin string? A la this Torbite 19 gauge, right? They even make a 20 gauge in this. This is already 1.10. So I can't even imagine what a 20 gauge is, a 1.00 or a 0.95. Why do people use such thin strings? Well, the answer is spin. The answer is power. Um, but how does it get spin and power? Well, when it's thin like this, it's easier for the strings to snap. So when it's thinner, right, it's easier for the rat, the strings to snap back a little bit more, right? Like that. It's when it impacts, it's easier for it to move probably two or three of these and then snap back, right? So the thinner it is, the more snap you get, the more snap you get, the more spin you get, the thinner it is, the more it gives also. So it gives snaps and then releases. So on a 20 gauge, you're probably getting a ton of spin and a ton of power. So as you move up, but that's the thinnest guys, as you move up into gauges, you start losing a little more of that. So a 19 gauge is still thin enough where you should, you'll, you will get a good amount of spin and power, right? You got 18 gauges, you know, something like this 115, which will still give you that. Um, as you keep moving up, though, right, you start losing that, though. So a 120, you'll start, it'll start being a little less, right? We all know 123, the fluoro, right? It'll start being even more or less. But what happens when you move? up engage as you get thicker right you gain more durability you gain more control you gain more 
tension maintenance. As it is thinner, right, the, the thinner strings don't seem to hold tension as well as the thicker ones. Or at least it doesn't seem to feel that way to me. Now, I'm sure there's some kind of a science behind that too. But from my personal experience, the thinner it is, the faster it loses tension. The livelier it is though, um, but it just doesn't maintain tension as well as the thicker stuff. Now, so there has to be some kind of balance between thick and thin, right? Where's that balance? Well, if you don't break strings, if you don't break strings at all, I would say go thin, go 18 gauge, possibly 19 gauge. Um, 17 gauge is pretty industry standard, right? I would say roll with 17 gauge until you start breaking them at an alarming pace. Let's say once a week, once every two weeks, then start edging up into like maybe a 1.25 millimeters, which is 16 light. Or if you have to go to the 16, um, those are for the, the major string breakers uh, that break them most of the time. So as we move up in the gauges, I mean, the two, I mean, the two, three most popular thicknesses is going to be these three. We got one, two, three, which is a true 17. Uh, we got one, two, five. Depending on the company, they categorize it as 17 or 16 L. Uh, and then we got your 130, which is a kind of a true 16. So these three are the most popular gauges that are out there. So obviously 130 is a 16 gauge. It's going to last you a little longer. These are going to play a little better. But definitely go with these first until you start breaking them, you know, quickly. Right? Now, for those... Those of you who break strings at a crazy clip, like those kids that I see coming in here with three rackets a week, right? They're using that RPM 15 light or something in the 15 light family, which is like a 135, right? I mean, you basically need strings to stay alive because they're breaking on you like potato chips. And we can't afford to have you do that all the time because you might be in the middle of a point, string snaps, right? What do you do? Can't just throw the racket down and lose the point, right? Well, sometimes you do, but you know, we can't have that happen too often, okay? That's why they make the thick, thick stuff. I don't see many strings going thicker than this anymore, but what happens when you go here? Well, you gain a lot of control. Um, you're losing a little bit of power, you're losing spin for sure, unless you're Rafa. Uh, so it, it's definitely tougher when it's thicker because it's a little more ropier to actually move those strings uh, when you're trying to hit that top spin. So unless you swing really high and hard like Rafa doing that, like going north really hard, it's hard to, to spin it with this, this string. Um, the other thing is maybe string it a little looser, but for this to move in the same fashion as like a 19 gauge, yeah, it, it take a lot more effort to make this move than this move. So remember that snapping motion, it's a lot easier to snap that 19 than it is to snap that 15 light. Now, what string is good for which age group? Now, I, I've told you guys in the past, I go with 19 gauge um, or like a 19 gauge hybrid. Like I would put this on the main and a 16 gauge synthetic on the cross for kind of kids that are like 12 year olds, 13 year olds that are entering that polyester market um, that I feel that's ready for something like this because they're still growing and developing. I don't want to destroy their arms before, um, you know, they really get going. So that's who I kind of target this uh, 
particular gauge too. Uh, you know, Luxalon used to make like a Timo or a Ace. Uh, those are gone. So I've actually reverted to this Torbite 19. Uh, they started making this 15 and a 120. Uh, I feel like this, the kids qu aren't quite ready for something like this yet. But as they, but as they get stronger and bigger uh, and start breaking strings faster, then we start easing them into the 115s and the 120s. Uh, they'll be strong enough to spin these uh, a, little, a little more easier, but they're definitely going to buy a little more durability. Like I don't really go into these three uh, until they're like, like big teenagers, you know, 16 year old, 15 year old, depending on their growth rate. Um, but. But what did we learn today? What did we learn today about gauges? Um, there's a lot of gauges on the market. Uh, for those of you who want a lot of spin and maybe don't break too many strings, or if at all, uh, maybe the seniors out there, right? Try a 19 gauge. Try a 19 gauge straight up or hybrid this with a synthetic 16, like a Gamma TNT or a Head Velocity uh, 16, right? You'll get them ton of spin you get a ton of feel they'll be snapping like crazy um, and it'll be it'll be fun for you you'll see your ball basically fall off a, a table when it when you hit it with some top and then there's different gauges as you kind of get stronger and start breaking strings and then at the end here right these are for you guys who basically uh you know breaking strings a lot right three times a week uh, we probably have to go to Kevlar at that point for you. But um, this is as thick as I think they get nowadays. Uh, so more power and spin, more control and durability. All right. So the thicker it is, the longer it'll last you. Okay. So playability on the thin, durability on the thick. All right. Thank you for watching. Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.